Hey boys and girls, it's Angel Malos here, welcome back, and today we have something really special. As you can see on the top right here, I'm playing Pokemon Yellow version and uh, 3DS, because it's connected to the thing. And uh, the funny thing is that the 3DS in Japan doesn't have the, the yellow version in color. So it actually didn't came in color, as you can see over here in this package over here. It doesn't say for game in color. Like other other, game, other games, like um, let's say uh, Pokemon Silver, you see that on the side it says Game Boy Color. But for Japanese version of Pikachu, uh, the yellow version, it didn't say Game Boy Color. So this is the actual package that we are getting over here for the 3DS. And I know you guys on the overseas and all this good stuff, you do get a, a Game Boy Color version of of the yellow for the 3DS but um, I don't <laughs> sucks but it's it's cool it's cool anyway we are over here we have our team and we have got um, well I have Popo which is a uh, PG I have Pikachu and I have a Gengar there level 100 very sexy very very beautiful and um, so next thing I wanted to do is to get a Mew you know it's a Mew now in this game there was two options to get a Mew there were actually two Mews that you could capture um, I messed up on one I shouldn't fight Misty. Uh, I shouldn't beat her. Um, there's a trainer there under Misty that if you fight him and beat him while activating this 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 um, trick or glitch or whatever, you will get another Mew. But I didn't do that. I it was my bad. And I I know I'm not that far. I could reset the whole thing and start over again, catch Kinger again, and all this good stuff. But you know what? It's it's my mistake, and I'm willing to deal with it like a man. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so um, I'm here at Professor um, what is it called? Bill's house, right? Uh, which in 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 Japanese his name is Masaki. Uh, so so we're gonna go ahead and come over here. This is on top of Serial City, and Pikachu runs away. He has his exclamation mark. There's a weird Pokemon there, and he he's like confused. He's like, what kind of weird Pokemon is this? So we can we can come over here, watch this computer. And you know, there's a little weird of teleporting machine over here. Very interesting stuff. So you can see that, like there's a transfer kind of thing. And this is the guy who actually made the teleport system and the computer system and all this good stuff. So this is actually, um, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you kids have not seen it or maybe just heard heard about it. But there's a movie, uh, an old movie called The Fly. And there is this uh, this scientist that. Um, makes a teleporting machine for humans and once he does a teleportation you know his DNA or whatever it will be destructured into like data and it will send to another machine and on the other side it will be composed again so he did a couple of times good but one of the times that he was doing that there was a fly that got inside of the machine with him and when he teleported to the other machine, the, the both of the DNAs of the human and the fly got mixed together. And then when he came out on the other side, he was starting to feel weird. And then he started to turn into like a big ass fly that he was about to die and all this good stuff. And I don't know, it was like a mistake that he did. So it, it was just like this kind of drama and like sci-fi and stuff like that. So they are alluding to that in here. So this is what happened to Mr. Bill. He's not in a custom or whatever. So you come talk to him. And he's like, Konnichiwa, I am, uh, I am a Pokemon. Uh, Chao, uh, I, I'm not a Pokemon. And he's like, um, why, uh, uh, wow, this this way of speaking is crazy. Uh, he says, me, my name is Bill, and and you know, I was doing this Pokemon machine, and it was a mistake, and I did transfer and mix myself with a Pokemon, and. Uh, and I want you to come back and, 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 you know, help me out. So, would you help me out or not? Yeah, sure, why not? So, uh, okay, so we he's going to jump into the machine. And then I have to go to touch the computer a little bit. And and we'll be cool. So, he jumps into the machine. And Pikachu's freaking out there. He's like, what? Alright. So, now he's there. And Pikachu doesn't do nothing. He's still confused. As usual. Now I can just leave. <laughs> and Pikachu follows me. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, oh it repeats the event. That's cool. It's fine. <laughs> I thought I was going to leave him on the machine. Anyway, we are capturing Mew. <laughs> Sorry for that. Sorry for that. 
So, uh, yeah, talk to this guy. He's gonna say the same thing. He's gonna jump into the machine. And then we're gonna be touching a button. Just press enter on the computer. Just press enter. Everything is set up. So, this is weird. Like, this guy actually mixed himself with a Pokemon. Isn't that weird? I mean, in the whole franchise, this, this has been unspoken. Has never been touched. So, I said, um, me, I touched the computer a little bit and start the program. They're there. And he comes on the other side. Pikachu's like, what the freak? He's freaking out there. And there's Bill with his black hair still. And he's like, oh, thanks a lot. You know, you helped me and this and that. And, uh, you know, this this, uh, this is a, like a machine trading machine that he was working on. He's, he's a crazy scientist. He's like my hero. And then he gave us um, the SS Annie uh, ticket. So we can board the ship so we can go somewhere else right now. And this is one of the things that we needed to, this event, we needed to, to, to set up this event. Now Pikachu's there, he's just chilling, so I'm just gonna leave him there. Sayonara Pikachu. No, I'm just kidding, he's coming with me. So, um, now we gotta return to the, all the way to our little house on there. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. We're, go we're heading to Cerulean, Cerulean City, or whatever that thing is. And I think this is the correct path. We're gonna have to come out and battle one of those guys later on. But to catch Mew, we gotta go down here. Is that's the Nugget Bridge, which you can uh, Nugget after you uh, after you defeat all those trainers. And now this this officer of here, Officer Jenny, um, yeah, it says almost the same dialogue. You know, it's like all oh, these poor people and got attacked by Rocket Team Rocket or whatever. And as you can see back there, there is somebody very suspicious. So um, you enter over here to the house, and it's a mess. And uh, you talk to this lady over here and says, uh, "Yeah, the 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 Team Rocket did this, and you can see all the all the footprints on the house and the walls like all messed up, and and you know they they're sure there was Team Rocket. So okay, now we got out here, and he's just chilling there, and no matter what you do, it will turn to you and it will try attack you. Now this guy, he's like, "Hey, we're Team Rocket. We do whatever we want, and." I'm, go I'm taking you down. You cannot come here. So there goes Team Rugged with his whip, very old school for sprites, and he has some choke a champ. Um, yeah, little uh, one Ricky. That's the name over here. One Ricky, one Ricky. Both of us are level 17, or I can just just change to my Gengar and you know unscrew his bottle. All right, Gengar. This is, this is this is beautiful, beautiful. So I know he's like a fighting type. So let's just let's just nightshade him a little bit, a little bit of nightshade, just just on the edges, just like that. And that's it. So now, um, he bring his his little um, sleep. <laughs> that that guy's name in Japanese is sleep. So drowsy. Another nightshade for Drowsy. He's, a, he's supposed to be a, a psychic type, type uh, weak against uh, ghost type. So there we go. Team Rocket defeated, and I maybe get some coins right there for more Pokeballs. And he's like, "Okay, I got it, I got it. You know, I'm not gonna do nothing." And then he gives me a time machine. Um, uh, uh, what's it called? TM, TM28. And now we he's disappeared. All right. So we needed this in order to for us to come over here. Now over here I have um. In my bag, I have 21 Pokeballs. I hope that is gonna be enough because I need it to be enough. <laughs> and we're gonna head down here. I think I think it's down here. Is it down here or not? There should be some patches of grass somewhere. I'm not sure if it's here. Which is the only place where we can? Oh, yeah, it's right there. That's that's the place where we can catch um, Abra. We need to catch Abra. And this is gonna this this is pretty much gonna take a while. So let's get let's get this Gengar up here. All the way up here. So it scares him. Scares the crap out of Avra. And let's actually just go down. I'm gonna try to do it here. Those those three spots of grass. This is this is the only place where Abra comes in. 
And as you all know, these versions of um, Pokemon, the first generations, you can miss the Pokemon when you throw the ball. Like you throw the ball and it's like, oh, it passed, it passed by right, it passed right by it, but it didn't touch it. Obviously, there is not just Abra in here. There's other Pokemons, like you just see that PG or Popo in the Japanese version. And there's another PG, and this is one of the most common ones. So we gotta just chill around here. Now, I don't have nothing really that can touch that Abra because his only move is actually teleport. So he, the first thing that he's gonna do is teleport, he's, he's gonna run away. Oh. And uh, this, this Pokemon's name in Japanese is Purin. <laughs> so if you, if you were wondering, purring. Um, I'll catch him later, but right now I need to save my balls because I want to catch a Mew and an Abra actually. And that's gonna be that's gonna be that's gonna be the thing. I need to catch this this Abra so I can move on with my life. I could do a mean look maybe or something like it wouldn't run away, but then then it will be hard. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know if I can try. Um, I could go try to get a bell sprout and and try to do the sleeping powder, um, which would be better probably. So I could give me a couple more chances because as you can see, I cannot catch, I cannot even find the abra right now. It's like I'm doing all this and no abras on the side. Uh, that's uh, you know, it's just my usual bad luck in here. But abra it has a very low chance to spawn, so. It's it's something that I was I was actually waiting for. So there we go, another PGs. It's infested with birds in here. Let's run away and keep keep walking on this path right here. Hopefully we can get an Abra soon. In the Ratata. I'm starting. To, I'm starting to think the Japanese version just didn't have uh, <laughs> Abra in here, but it has to have it. It has to have it. I mean, come on. Jesus, man. It could be. It could be that it's just. It's just not here. I mean, it doesn't matter. We still haven't fought those trainers that activate the the glitch. So we'll be cool here. And there's another pigeon here. I'm really starting to think there is no Abras in this place and um, there is only other place that ha could have the Abras and this place over here for uh, to catch in Abra it works on Pokemon Yellow but on the Game Boy Color version so I'm not sure if this Game Boy um, has uh, more of the uh, of the Pokemon layouts or the Pokemon you know spreads spread out as the Game Boy Blue or Red or whatever, but uh, I thought I thought it would be here. Well, you know, we got Purin again, and I know Purin here. Uh, it's a uh, it's a rare one, and this is the second, the only the second time we've seen it. So if we can see more Purins and more. Um, that means the Abra could maybe probably not be here at all. Alright, let's try one more time. And there's Rattata again. I mean our only chance is really to to get that Abra in here. Now it doesn't it I could throw I could throw a Pokeball and it says it will say it missed the ball it missed the Pokemon and what's gonna happen is oh there it is there it is and you can see this is very low chance I I seen so many Pokemon in here it's a level seven his only move is gonna be to run away um, I'm not sure if I can uh, this is a, this is a, a, a strange light or a, a weird light or a, so I can lick him. And kill him. I can do a nightshade and kill him, or I can uh, do that that weird lighting thingy, uh, which is none of the things that I need to do. I need to catch him with a Pokeball on the first try. It's not a Super Ball. It's not a Master Ball. It's not nothing else. It's just a normal Pokeball, and I'm gonna be tossing it. And I didn't miss him, but he just pop out of it, and his first move is gonna be run away, and he's gone. 
So now I have to do this all over again, try to look for another Abra, and this, this is how it is gonna go. Uh, I don't have any other option to do anything else. Um, yeah, so that's that's gonna be sad. Look, let, let's you see this um, this weird light over here. So uh, it's just to confuse them. So that's probably another thing I could do. I can I can try to confuse that Abra, so it would hurt himself instead of trying to teleport away. If I find him. Now uh, that confused thing, it's not 100%, and and he, after being confused, he may not hurt himself, but instead of just teleport away, so I would waste the chance to use a Pokeball. And <laughs> oh my God, this this game is it's, it's about patience, man. It's about patience. I wish I I wish I could see like the the colors, the Game Boy Color, um, you know, sprites and stuff. I mean, I am in a 3DS, actually a new 3DS, so... But, no, we don't get that here. If it was in the American version, on the American 3DS, or I bought it on the American store, then I could see it, but not here. So, we found one Abra, it, that means that they are here. There we go, Popo again. Or Pidgey, or whatever you want to call them. See, it gets very confusing when you get give them different names for different countries. Like, I get it if you wanna, like, you know, not offend somebody from some other country or whatever, but come on, you don't need to change the names like that bad. But I guess, I guess that's just how Pokemon goes. Um, let's run away again. I mean, up to now, um, up to probably a few years maybe, I didn't know that this guy, or, you know, that Ash was actually Satoshi, and that's the actual original name. And here we go, first Abra, uh, well, second Abra. Uh, I'm gonna try to do the mean look, just just for the giggles. Or, it's not mean look. A mean look would actually make him void shade. Now he's gonna, he's confused. And he attack himself, perfect. Now I can try to use a Pokeball, maybe I can do it a couple of times before he kills himself. Or runs away. One, two, three. And it's ours. Boom. All I need to do is confuse him. Because confusion also affects the, the catching rate. So there we go. The data is going to be input in here. Uh, it says uh, it sleeps 18 hours a day. And yeah, all this good stuff. Whatever. Alright. So you want to give him a name? I can only give him Japanese names. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. Alright, so we can come over to our Pokemon over here. Boom. And now we have Abra over here. Kichi. Kichi. And uh, we can use this move. Teleport. And when we do teleport, what's going to happen? It's going to wriggle us up. And take us to the last Pokemon Center that we saved. So let's come over here. And, uh, you know, just refuel our people. Now we did beat that Team Rocket da dude, and we probably do have some coins, so I'm gonna go ahead and go buy some more Pokeballs, because we will need them, maybe? Because that Mew is coming with us home, and uh, if he doesn't beat the crackers out of us. And uh, yeah, so my whole idea was to actually get this, um, it's not here, yeah, you see, this, this is a gym, like, this is the guy, it's a real city right here, this is the guy we should have beat. We should beat this guy and then head to find another Mew, and that would be another another really cool thing. But we, um, you know, I, I, I messed up. I, I beat the gym leader. I beat Misty, and I got all excited. Anyway, so let's 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 bought something. We have a lot of coins, and these are yens. This is not Poke Poke points or whatever. This is Japanese yen. So let's get some Pokeballs. Why not? Let's just fill ourselves with a bunch of Pokeballs. This should be enough, and more than enough to actually uh, capture uh, a Mew. If not, I'm doomed. <laughs> so, alright, let's go ahead and activate the code. We do have our Abra right here. Uh, we did just use the Pokemon Center over there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead over here to the Nugget Bridge. Run up, run up, run up. 
you beat all these guys and then this team rocket that was over here was gonna say like uh, yeah you, you, you should come with me and whatever so this is a trainer over here to activate the glitch the same thing that we happened with uh, with Gengar last time so I'm gonna go ahead and probably come over here and save first which in Japanese is called report you basically just save a report so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and same story you press down and uh, let's go this way right here you press down press start and it didn't happen so I'm good what I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, just restart the whole thing again all right so we're gonna reset it it's hard it's hard especially on the on the new 3ds it has a little start tiny button on, under your under your thumb you see this 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 thing is what I don't like <laughs> it shouldn't look like that it should look in colors all right let's continue I have two batches because I made the mistake of there we go Pokemon so we're on his side he's already he's gonna be seeing us but before that I'm gonna go use this catchy guy and just teleport my little booty away and he's gonna see us and I'm gonna be spinning just be like I'm out of here boom come all the way to the Pokemon Center and now the thing is activated I cannot use my start button Mew is coming to to me to me all right now we can come up here and I have beat it uh, a couple of trainers from the road to the professor Bill's house which is on the right side after this so you come over here and you come to the right side oh yeah by the way I, d I don't know I haven't seen it before but this guy actually gives you a Charmander I don't know I, I don't know if I saved it I think I, I already got it yeah he doesn't even want to talk to us like maybe it's because we are in the middle of the glitch or whatever uh, but star button doesn't work I have beat all these trainers right here I actually beat the one the bottom which I don't need it and now this guy over here if I walk straight to him the game will freeze so I need to come over here at least one step it didn't need to be two steps but I need to come over here he will free see you and come and battle you this is the only guy that you needed to save these and the one for Misty so uh, this this I think is a short pants guy little kid there it is it's a little youngster and he has a slowpoke, I believe. There we go. Which is, um, in Japanese, is called Yadon. Now, I have a Gengar, and it's level 100. So this, you know, it's again. Let's, let's do our beautiful nightshade. It's just the shades of night. And he goes bye bye. After he's been defeated and we collected his coins, all we need to do is walk. I think it's, uh, I don't know, 450 steps or something like that. It's not much. But all we need to do is just walk. So we're just going to go walk it. Walk it. Baby, walk it. And we I beat it all, pretty much all of these guys. That's Professor Bill's house right there. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to town. You don't need to do this. You can probably just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And when you complete a certain amount of steps, your start button will just pop out. And this is gonna happen pretty much at the end of this on the corner right there right there and yeah I didn't press anything the start button just pop out and when I press B I'm gonna be attacked by a wild Mew and there it is the purity ball nice now level 7 I really don't have anything that really can beat him right now uh, so it has to be it has to be done like this I don't know um Let's see, what other Pokemon I have? I have level 11 and 17. I have level 7, 11. Um, it, could be, it could be hard. It could be hard on, on Pikachu or it could be hard on, on, on Mew, but I'm not sure. You know, I do have enough Pokeballs, so let's, let's go ahead and try to do this. I have like 39 Pokeballs. So I threw the Pokeball and look at what happened. I did not hit Mew. It just, it just flew by him. And Mew tried to attack me and it didn't it didn't do nothing because I'm a ghost type. And nothing. This is my second Pokeball, this is my third Pokeball. And I am not hitting the I'm not hitting Mew right there. So he has a very, very hardcore evasiveness. I have spent 
uh, already four Pokeballs, this is my fifth Pokeball, and I am not hitting him. It's not that he's escaping from the Pokeball, it's that I am. Th he's not even getting into the Pokeball right there. So I'm gonna spend a couple more Pokeballs. Uh, there we go, this is the first time he gets in there, I'm already spending like seven Pokeballs, and it just got in there. Boom! By chances of destiny. Alright, so now I've got a, a Mew level 7, and his data is coming in here. This, this was magic in the Pokemon first generation, because he was not supposed to be part of the game. Actually, the developers, they did not even know that he was in the game. Some of the actual guys that were coding, they just like slip him in there, and um, you were not supposed to get it, probably not, not until an event or something like that, but he was not supposed to be even part of the 151. It was like, it was 150 Pokemon, not 151. And uh, yeah, so he got in here. There we go. And now, if you want to put him a name, you can put him a name, but I'm going to say no. And all I'm going to do is uh, maybe just, just the Pokemon, go to the Pokemon Center. And look at him, look at him, look at him right there. Bam! Everything is 19, 19, 19, and you can see the ID number right there, 07673. And it's a type 1, Esper, uh, which is a psychic type. And it only has one move, Hataku, which is like Pound or something like that. Which didn't do anything to Gengar. Oh yeah, I was gonna, I was, I was gonna, let's, let's go ahead and save. And now we have a really cool party. So my whole idea over here um, was to grab this Gengar and maybe this Mew over here. I could go to grab another Mew. I can just go ahead with the with the guy over there in the grass and activate the cheat and go to Cerulean Gym and fight that guy and activate it. And you just need to walk again and it will appear another Mew and they can just capture it. But you know, sad for me, it's not gonna happen. Anyways, so my whole idea was to grab all this Gengar and make him go through the whole thing, maybe send them to, to Kalos and battle over there and sell them to Hoenn and battle over there and get a couple of rebounds and, you know, make him pretty and making win contests and stuff before I take it to Sun and Moon. Uh, the problem is that the bank that is going to allow me to transfer Pokemon from this generation to Sun and Moon is not going to work until January next year. So in um, November 18, Sa Pokemon Sun and Moon is going to come on. And after two months, the bank will be allowing you to move the Pokemon from this generation to the to the Sun and Moon. So it's not going to work for me. I'm not going to be able to do it. And that sucks pretty bad. So uh, I have to find another thing. I I'm going to keep doing this. I, I like it. I'm going to try to do the 151 Pokemon in here. I'm um, not sure if I can do that. I'm not sure if I can catch a trio uh, or the, if there is something that I need to trade or whatever. I know Gengar was a trade one and so if that is the case maybe I need to find somebody else with a, with a, with another with another you know version of blue or whatever. But it will be cool to, to see if we can do it online or whatever. I have no idea what, how can we trade or it has to be in front of me. Um, otherwise um, yeah. I'm gonna try to, to capture them and you know just just be all cool so here it is uh, I'm doing my adventure over here and and generation one is all fun and games and uh, yeah I'll be I'll be using this this team right here to just just beat everybody up so thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye